Simba, NYC TV. Hello, folks, and thank you for tuning in to Simba, NYC TV from out of Brooklyn, New York. This is our second series and the seventh episode. Thank you so much. I just want to say thank you. This is a, a special thank you to everyone for the response. When I read my poetry, uh, maybe about two or three episodes ago, um, there was a special viewer. And um, let me ask my producer, what is his name? His name is Matthias uh, Emanuelson from Sweden. Matthias Emanuelson from Sweden contacted us and um, he said he loved my poetry and they would even like to hear more of it and possibly record uh, a poem or two. So I am super excited. Um, so what I want to do today is I just want to read uh, some more of my poetry. There is a series that I write on Facebook and it's called Happy to be Above Ground and I wrote that out of waking up every morning just happy to be alive. And um, I'd like to read one of my poems from that series. So happy today that we are all above ground. Let's challenge ourselves and show love to someone. I know. I know your response. You've got your own shit going on. But don't grudgingly say morning, evening, night. Don't shorten it. Be happy you're alive today. And oh, what a privilege. Okay, let's try this again. Good morning, good day, good evening. And now you say it back to me, my friend. Okay, now look up from your texting or your newspaper and make eye contact with each other and smile. It's such a powerful gesture you will learn and they will smile back in return. And hold the door open, be polite, offer some assistance just be nice listen and just don't hear take time out for others and show that you care now check your purse your wallet or your pocket this show of love to others it has cost you nothing what i want to do now is i want to share a video with you this is kind of like a different style for mr Liji. It's a jazzy type uh, style, and the name of the song is 3,000 Miles, and I think you're going to enjoy this. So what we're going to do, this is what I have lined up for you today. We're going to watch the video, and then we're going to come back, and I have an action-packed show for you. My special guest today will be Gregory Pegas, and he is a drummer. An absolute, he is an international I call him a percussionist extraordinaire. And he's here today. We have our health talk. We have uh, health, I'm sorry, health corner, book talk. I'm so excited. We have uh, Get Straight. And again, I encourage you to share Simba NYC TV with your friends. Uh, we are in English and in French. Click on our CC button, uh, read along with us. I just want you today to sit back, relax, buckle up your seatbelt, because we're in for quite a ride today. We'll be right back.
Gregory the Animal Pegasus. Hello. Drummer <laughs> and percussionist Oh my god. What an intro. <laughs> I always speak the truth. I want you now to introduce yourself to our Simba NYC TV viewers. Simba NYC. <laughs> oh my god. I have made it. I have made it. I have made it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart yes. for being here to allow myself to come and speak with you on today and teach some lessons of myself to you and I just want to thank God for the opportunity being here in the cold in New York it's freezing <laughs> but I took the time to come to be a part of myself to you mm -hmm. and I'm here with my brilliant and host and I would be, I guess, 
we will take it from there and she will start <laughs> asking some questions. So thank but, you guys very well, much. I love you. You, you see <laughs> this kind of energy. This is the kind of energy that you see on stage. And that's why he's been given that, that nickname, that moniker, <laughs> the animal. <laughs> And I want him to explain how he was given that name. The animal. An attacker. Ah. <laughs> animal, animal came um, um, in, in playing mm -hmm. the way that I played mm -hmm. in, in, in the time that I played it. Music for me is, it's, 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 it's a vibe mm -hmm. and when I get into that plane mm -hmm. and into that mood of plane, something else comes out yes. that I am and myself wasn't even able to understand what it was. Mm -hmm. And I think that the artist who anoint me with the name Animal would have been Marshall Montano at the time. Mm -hmm. I was playing, usually when I'm playing, I would get up from off the drums and I would do crazy stuff. <laughs> And he looked at me and he was like, you know, you remind me of someone, you look like this little guy from on the Muppet Show, the animal. And that is where the name came from. from. And mm -hmm. from there it, it took, everyone knew yes. of the name. It became a household yes. name in Trinidad mm -hmm. versus all over the Caribbean via the world. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that name, yeah. animal, you know who it, they speak about. So that is what it, where it came from, mm -hmm. if I might say. And, and it fits. Your it fits. Okay. When, when our viewers see some of the footage we have of your playing, you know, you're going to see that it fits. Uh, all right. And, and that's complimentary because you attack it, you're intense, I mean, you, you, you transform. Transform, you, that's yes. good. I think it happens to every musician mm -hmm. who is into the craft and into what mm -hmm. is, it's, it in, is, is part of them. They get into it and you yeah. have the times I don't even know what I am doing. <laughs> Only when I go back and listen back to recordings, I see and hear some of the things that I am doing that I'm not even sometimes mm. able to reproduce mm. because it's just what it is there, mm -hmm. you know, at the time. Yes. So that happens yeah. all the time in play. So we, I know that you started playing at the age of seven with Carrot Tokyo. Right. And we're talking drumming at the age of seven. <laughs> um, it started a little way back before that. Um, um, the gift started, I, I, was, I knew that is what I wanted to do. I think God brought me here for this purpose. Mm -hmm. I, from small, I would beat buckets. I would kick yes. these buckets and I would set up the buckets like a drum kit in the living room. And I would play every advertisement of the television, also from off the radio. I would try to mimic what the drummer is playing and put myself in that shoes from a baby mm. and I remember at one point in time they weren't even any spoons home for us to eat <laughs> because I took them and I, I played I was playing that little Danish cookie tin yes. that was my snare drum for years <laughs> and I took the cover of the clim pan and I took the plunger and that was my high hat I drove a nail through that yes. because I've, I've, I'm from small I'm seeing what this instrument is yes. and I'm telling myself maybe if I set the buckets up um, I would, it would look and, and got the little songs 
to sound like mm. what the drums would sound like and that is where the dream came from that is mm. where everything started so it's a little you know before seven seven yes. i was introduced yes to, to the steel band from a, a, a relative of mine took me there he saw the gift he saw what i had love to do and he said he asked my mom let me take him to the panyard so he can see this instrument firsthand and that is when i got to the panyard and i saw it and it was a it was a stone throw away from where i was living yes. where i am living now to the panyard so I, I i got there and i saw the drum set. the drum kit i saw this drum kit and i was like this is what i dreamed about playing all my life and after god it took me every which way i can't remember doing anything else other than drumming up to this day and i thank god so much for it so very much that's a great <laughs> that's a great story so it's, it's all self-taught yeah <laughs> and let me tell you where these gifts have taken them i'm going to be reading music band mm -hmm. after music band <laughs> steel band after steel band so you played with rhythm division taxi Whoa. second image horizon traffic <laughs> ecstatic and a sidon band <laughs> uh, and in terms of steel band we are talking Trinidad, Renegades, Desperados, New York, Pantonics, and that's where that gift has taken you. It has been a ride. It's been good. It's it's it is it is again what the gift holds, and that's what the gift does. Because then these places they were and and funny enough, all those bands that you you mention, and I've, I'm I'm always. I month about this and I, I try to tell mm -hmm. all musicians have good behavior always leave with a good note so therefore all those bands that you spoke mm -hmm. about there I am good friends with all these people still so who were your influences um my influences coming up when I was a kid I was heavily influenced by a good friend of mine. He's like a father, like an uncle, like a big brother. Mm -hmm. His name is Andrew Soka Beaumont. He plays for BP Renegades. And he, I've, I've always found him to be instrumental in my mm -hmm. playing. I learned so much from him. And in regards to artists, if you're speaking about artists, mm -hmm. the next person that I was heavily influenced over would be Marshall Montano. I think he is also a teacher mm -hmm. you learn so much from him mm -hmm. you learn where he when we get into the barn room and we close that door and he works you know he works tirelessly he's he is drenched mm -hmm. we, we we he teaches us as we go and i like i love to be around artists like that that teaches and help mm -hmm. grow you into becoming that artist and that musician that you ought to be and a lot of other influences around bungee garland is mm -hmm. also a very mm -hmm. person good person like that i learned so much from him um his gift is phenomenal where he of himself where he sits and he would look at you and he would be able to tap on what you wearing he can sing about every clothing that you have on and again it goes back to gift so yes, these are yes. some of the people that i'm very influenced about mm -hmm. on the international scale scale i love dennis chambers dave weckles mm -hmm. big names yeah. tell me about the new thing with the large bands using two drummers i'm just trying to process how do you get two drummers and I'm guessing with two different styles of playing to be heard as one what I try to do I've done it um, many of years with Pantonic this little guy by the name of Joel the monster the monster Joel <laughs> Joel and I have been playing for a few years in mm -hmm. Pantonic when I first came mm -hmm. um, and Bradley saw me he asked me to be a part of the band mm -hmm. and I came in and um, took part and then Joel came and then we we said to ourselves why not 
use it because me coming into to 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 New York, um, Joel lives here, so he would play for the year. Yes. And then when he come, I think it's inappropriate to move him off the set or move anyone yes, for that matter yes. off the set. So what we try to do, we tried it incorporating the two drummers it has been done way before my time and it mm -hmm. still continues to, to be done um what we did and in collaboration with the deceased clive bradley we worked together where we we played the same fills together mm -hmm. we did all the work together so therefore you won't even recognize that there were two drummers on set and that is what you have to do we need to work together it's not about you or i or egos or who is here or who's there we come together to make it work together for the benefit of the band and that is what it has been it, for all these years i love it and a lot of songs as i told you from the forward pantanic played you would not know Even there is two drummers. Yes, yeah. That's what that's that's the magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> speaking speaking of magic, what we're gonna do now is we're going to take a look at one of the uh, videos, not well not videos, like a vignette of Gregory the Animal <laughs> Pegasus, and then we'll be right back. with Gregory the Animal Pegasus. Hi. I know you saw that footage. I know you must be up and dancing. Amazing. Amazing, rhythmic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you are just, you're just great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, I, I, I read something um, that you said that you see drums in everything. Oh. Tell me about that. I see drums in everything, in the way you walk, in the way you talk. I think everything has a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. You would be walking and you would be seeing the, or hearing the cars 
and hearing the siren that is coming and sometimes it goes in time and a lot of people subconsciously are not thinking of everything has a timing mm. even that eh, oh, eh, oh, eh, oh, ah, ah, has a timing to it and you might hear the shoes of the heels that people are walking by has a rhythm to it they walk left, right, left, right, left, right, the government boots, the government boots, <laughs> left, right. What? It has that. Yes. It has that everywhere. The cars, the doors closing, the keys turning, people talking, mm -hmm. you know, everything has a rhythm to it. And you just have to find the rhythm. A lot of times I might be driving in a car and someone is walking and there's a song playing in the car and he or she is walking in time with the song that is playing in the car and have no idea that they are walking in time that is what i see mm -hmm. i see that in everything thing. you mm. see the waves are crashing in mm. has a timing mm -hmm. the air the breeze the plane everything has a timing and that is where yes. i see myself all yes. the time i'm on this big world stage yes i'm seeing all these people and i am responsible for playing and keeping that rhythm together yes yes that is where that is so, what i see i i saw you i don't know if we should call it multitasking dancing whining <laughs> playing <laughs> just keep the oh my this. god <laughs> but you, you know i also read something and, and you i don't know if you've read this but i read where it said that you were one of the best drummers in the world <laughs> well i i i am i am i'm still not going well, to see I, 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 I know I what you say <laughs> i respect you humanity. i i respect it tremendously but i i think to have people recognize your work. Okay. This this is what this is about. The recognition of the work that you've put in from <laughs> age seven till present. No. <laughs> and I think that's something you should say. Just a simple thank you. Well, thanks very much. <laughs> I'll just say that. Thanks very and much. I also know a secret. I know that you sing. Oh. <laughs> I do a little bit of it because um, I, I, it's something that I like. Well, I'm, I heard, I'm able I to heard do you some. held your own. <laughs> Welcome to the hotel. <laughs> oh yeah, I did some of that. Uh, why I had like that song is it has been done from a drummer's point of view because it's actually a drummer that done it from the Eagles. So I, I'm wondering, could my uh, Simba TV viewers get an exclusive Hotel California right here, <laughs> right now on this stage? Never been done before. The animal going to sing Hotel California. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, it's on the top, is it highway? 
cooling in my head. Uh, warm style of Kalida <laughs> rising up to the air. Yeah. Up ahead in the distance. I'm going to leave you right there. I'm going to leave you right there. I'm not going to do too much. I'm not going to do anything. I'm seeing now getting into it. To the but, hotel, hotel. Yeah, it's a beautiful oh, yeah. song. I That's think a beautiful it's song. a beautiful yeah, song. It was well written. Song. I think it's what it's well it's well done. Orchestrated piece of music. Yes. And I really do like it. Um, I think it's it's a gift again to be able to do a little of it. Yes. Again, it's a lot of work. Yes. It's, it's still work for me in progress because mm -hmm. I would really love to go and do it professionally, learn to sing properly, learn All to right. breathe properly. And it's, it's a work in progress. So, so you heard um, it here first. Look out for something very <laughs> soon. I'm going to go and you do what I have to do. First. And I'll come right back at you guys with something even better. Might be even my work. So, keep still. All right, we're going to be right back with that. Yeah? And on that note, a break. You want to hide something from a Negro? Put it in a book. In a book. Welcome to Book Talk. There's a question that I'm posing. Can a white person be, ever really understand how a black person sees the world? A white author, John Howard Griffith, he did a social experiment. He used medication to make his skin color black. Then he went on a tour in the 1960s of the Deep South to experience the realities of a black man in the South. The result of this was a best-selling book, I'm sorry, called Black Like Me. Black Like Me, and the author's name is John Howard Griffin. This book told in the 60s what white America refused to believe, that racism did exist, and that what black people was experiencing was real. I want you to get this book. Um, you know what's the interesting thing about all these books that are, that, uh, are classics, that have been read uh, in our high schools? Everything in these books, sadly, is still current today. All these experiences are still, they still so much exist. Read the book. It's called Black Like Me, and the author is John Howard Griffin. See you next week, and thank you for being part of Book Talk. You want to hide something, wanna something from a Negro? From Negro? Put it in a book. In a book. Prevention is better than a cure Health Corner Hello and welcome to Health Corner. Today I'm going to be talking about cayenne pepper. Most of you have used cayenne pepper to add a little spice to your meals. But did you know it has the power to change your health? Cayenne has the ability to ease an upset stomach. It's a natural remedy for cramps. It's also an anti-cold and flu agent. And it promotes heart health. It lowers high cholesterol. And it also leads to the formation of, of blood clots and reduces the chance of heart attack and strokes. But I think what we, most of us know cayenne pepper for is it's a metabolic booster. And um, there's a famous cayenne pepper diet, and a lot of people are using it now. It cleanses and flushes toxins from the body, combined with lemon juice and honey. It's an excellent morning beverage for total body detox. Cayenne pepper, a wonderful compound with many great uses. See you next week. Thank you for tuning in to Health Corner. Prevention is better than a cure. Health Corner.
in my time, I have been called a lot of things. Some people have called me a witch. <laughs> Some have called me a miracle worker. <laughs> And some have called me an Obia woman. But me, I prefer to call myself a helper. If I can help somebody as I pass along then my living has not been in vain Diana Stilling, don't make another move. I know it was coming. I just come off the morning round. Seven days <laughs> I was on the morning round. And I just keep seeing you. So I know it was coming. You know why you're here? Because you're hard. You don't listen. The last time you was here, <laughs> I bid you. I give you all the protection for your family. And I give you the directions what to do. You were supposed to go home and keep a Thanksgiving. Did you keep it? No, Mother Clem, I did not. Oh. Hush, 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 hush. You were supposed to invite and feed children. You did it? No, Mother Clem, I didn't. You were supposed to do all these things. Why you do it? Mother Clem, you know I'm a busy woman. I've been traveling. I've been... I've been so listen, busy. listen, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down fast. Come, 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 come. Sit, 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 sit. What happened? I've been traveling. You know, you know my life. But, but the reason Listen, I'm here is because of my you daughter. You know your family surviving? Because of my hard work. While you're traveling, Diana, I'm working for you. I'm working for you. I know why you're here. I already see the problem. But let me hear what you had to see. Let me hear why you think you're here. Okay. Mother Clem, there's a young man who wants to marry my daughter. And he's from Lavin Till. Mother Clem, he's a pest. He wants my daughter's money. I need to, I need to get rid of this young man. He cannot marry my daughter. Ah, listen. The problem no start. No. The problem no start. Mother Clem, if anybody could help me, I know it's you. That's, that's why I'm here. I could help you. But you have to listen. You have to listen. Now I'm going to tell you something. You see, this problem here is going to cost you enough. Well, that is not a problem. 
mother time. Not a problem at all. So if you have money, I have the time. Now you see the young man? He is not your problem. What do you, what do you mean? He is not my problem. You see the young man, mother? That is your problem. Explain that to me. That mother is a serious woman in the spiritual world. That woman has power. And you see that son? The son mount up higher than Mount Kilimanjaro. You see the work I have to do? You see the work? It's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. I ain't gonna cause you now. They gonna cause you. I feel that the mother all now, Diana is gonna cost you. I am willing to do whatever it takes to get rid of this problem. Whatever you say. Now you see the mother? I can handle the mother. I can handle that mother. But there are some things that you need to do. Anything you say, Mother Clem, anything, I'll do it. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen. You have to listen, Diana. Now pay attention. Pay close attention to everything I say. I only got to say it once. I want this kind of time that I have for you. Only once. You need a black candle. You need some black string. You need a toothpick and you need parchment paper. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to light that black candle. I want you to take your hand and circle that black candle three times. And I'm going to tell you what to say when you're circling that black candle. I want you to take the wax from the black candle and put it on the parchment paper where your daughter name and the boy name written. Make sure that the wax, it covered their whole name. If you leave one piece of their name out, It's not going to work. And when you finish, you're going to take the yarn and the toothpick and you're going to tie it together. You're going to put it under your daughter bed for seven days. On the eighth day, you're going to burn the whole thing. Yes. And when you're done, you're going to burn the ashes. And Diana, by the next day, you will have results. Now, if you don't do it the way I tell you to do it, crap will smoke your pipe. Diana, If you're not going to listen, go about your business. Don't come back to me. Go back where you come from. I'm a busy woman. You have a whole lot of people waiting for my help. So, okay, darling, we'll catch up. Thank you, Mother Clam. Thank you a lot. Thank, thank you, Mother Clem. Thanks.
Sangot to Chahu, Pancham music. Let's give me a strength to keep going in the summer. Hello, what happened, baby? I good. Hi, Gabby. Yeah, you know how it is. I was busy, and then I come home from work, and I just running family dollar. I just get a couple of things, and I can't really talk now. But when I get in my car, I'll call you back. All right, I will wait for your call. Baby. Hi, babe. I just come out of family dollar. Oh, it's cold out here. I know, I know it is. Yeah, old old brick right now. Just now they when I talk to you, and you tell me about where you go call me back. You know what I mean? I said I get her ass, girl. I seen you vex with me, you know? No, I ain't vex with you. I ain't vex with you. Girl. I would apologize for that kind of mad seeing you. You know, I would like for you and my mother to get along. Because, you know, I, I love the both of you. And I really want us to get along like a family. But I know, <laughs> I know my mother could push people buttons. And I see she pushed yours last night. Because, Gavi, I don't lie, I never see that side of you. I never see you so angry. And I'm my style, you know. Kill a shame right now. 
to see that I use obscenity in front of your mother first time meeting she too. And you know you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Gabby, I never hear you cuss before. <laughs> I was shocked. I shame to not have a cuss in your house and thing and run out your house and thing and make a whole scene. You know what? I want I want us to get together again and let me see if we could try to be civil. You know, I know I know it was hard for you, you know, but she mean well. So, me and you still good? Yes, we good. We good for life. Don't bother it. We good. I mean, I love my mother and, you know, to some degree, I, yeah, I, I listen to something she said, but Gabby, the way you and I connect, I know it's real. You know, since me and she are that little, that thing last night, like, like, what is she saying? I get up this morning for work, as usual, and she wasn't even there. She gone since early. So I don't even know where this woman gone, but she just gone. She gone like she on a mission. See? I, I don't normally you come over at night, but I, I don't think tonight is a good night. So, you know? I, I want to kind of talk a little bit more with her and then, you know, you'll come over, but you will come before she leaves because I really want us to have another time together. Yeah, I understand, man. I understand, you know. All right. I love yeah. you, babe. Well, you know I love you much, 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 much more. Only Petro would know what to do at a time like this. Oh God, I'm gonna call Miguel. Petro, I know long me hear you. I've been busy. So what's the happening? Is happenings, is real happenings. Since you tell me you get married, I'm real pressuring my king. Right now I'm in the laundromat washing the king clothes. You know, I want a wedding ring too. Better, I can't even laugh, girl. So, so much thing happening to me. What happened, girl? My mother come from Trinidad. Yeah, yeah, she come up. She didn't even tell me she was coming. She just show up. Just so? Just like that? Just so. She show up because she come to mash up me and Gabby. What? Yes. Give, give me the scores now. Give me the scores. Well, last night, Gabby come over. He didn't even know. I didn't have, I didn't have a chance to tell Gabby don't come. So he and my mother meet up. Kill. Trouble. Trouble with a capital T. My mother says she don't like him. She was rude to him. She disrespect him. Gabby cussed my mother. Yes, girl. Bacchanal in the place. Oh, God. And, I, and as I hear from you, I say everything going good. All that going on. My head hot. That's why I'm calling you because I don't know what to do. I love Gabby and I love my mother. But I don't know what to do. That is a sticky one you have to deal with. But you have to do what you have to do as far as your happiness. That's what I'm trying to tell my mother that, that he makes me happy. She think Gabby after my money. You just have to hear her and see where your mother really coming from. I, I went from being happy to unhappy to happy to unhappy. I feel like I'm on a, a roller coaster. I can't take it. I hope everything will come for you, but right now, <laughs> I am trying to get my king to do the right thing. Girl, I'm cooking, I'm washing, I'm cleaning, I'm doing things I never do before. I, I, the house are humming the wedding song. Girl, I want... But it don't work out for you, it don't work out. One thing, you can always make me, no matter what the problem I have, you can always make me laugh. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Oh, you remember to put fabric softener in the, um, in the, in the, in the red? Yes, yes. I do it and I put in fabric softener in the red. I do it everything, girl. So I'll call you, but girl, 
guilt, say a little prayer for me. This thing is it, hotter than hot. Tell me, you know I'm here for you. All right. <laughs> we are having such a, a fun time, let me tell you. Woo! All right, so let me settle down. <laughs> We're gonna do a quick fire. Every artist that comes here knows that there's a quick fire. I just need one word, okay? What are you currently listening to? I currently listen again to all different types of music. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I love that Latin music. I'm in love with cassave music that mm. type of rhythm that you know drives yes. me yeah makes me think makes me look at whatever i'm um, out there I, i'm i'm listening to the world the speak world. right now i'm mm. listening to the world music stage right mm. now who would you like to jam with Ooh. earth wind and fire yes. mm -hmm. acoustic drumming or mm. electronic percussion <laughs> That's a that's an easy one. Acoustic. <laughs> um, what is the message you would give to other drummers that they, they can walk away with today? Oh. Oh, I would look into the camera for this one because <laughs> this is message time. It's message time. And I will fold my legs and I would look at you <laughs> and I would speak to you guys because I have done it. I have done it for a very long time. I'm still within my boundaries of doing it. What the message I would give to you is don't look at us. A lot of times, you know, the young artists would look at us as musicians and they would see us rolling in an event and telling themselves, oh, you know, you guys, I want to be like you. I want to be like Gregory. I want to be like the animal. You cannot be me. You have to be yourself. And I will tell you this now. I'm going to tell you for me. And go, there's, there's a saying that the older generations would say, go poor luck, don't ever be see poor luck. And I'll tell you what I mean. What happened for me may not happen for you. So if it's music that you love, I suggest that you go to school and learn it. So therefore you could have something to fall back on. So you're headed back to Trinidad. Very soon. <laughs> Carnival time coming up soon. Yeah. Desperados is waiting for you. <laughs> I, I believe they are. We we have we spoke um very gently during the summer. Um I'm yet to know what is going to happen when I return mm -hmm. and um I would know from there what is going to happen for twenty seventeen where Panorama is concerned. Okay. Yeah. What we want now from you is your social media info so that people can certainly keep in touch with you and follow you. <laughs> follow that rhythmic, follow that drum. For me, for me, my information is just simply going on Facebook and typing in Gregory Pigas. I'm not very, a huge fan of on the media every minute and, mm -hmm. you know, that type of thing. Um, so anything that needs to if you need to contact me if that is where you're looking for um i'm simply gregory pigas animal you can tap in there um look for me on facebook just just simply the animal and um i would see your comments i speak to, to musicians every part of the caribbean and every oh, part yeah. of the world even up to now every time i turn my phone on somebody's asking what type of drum skin do i use mm -hmm. what sound would i get mm -hmm. off of this drum head how should we play this intro how are we to do some of the stuff that i'm seeing you guys doing so i'm always at hand okay. i'm always there for any age for any situation so facebook it is call me okay. yeah i'm on instagram gregory pigos on instagram Everything is Gregory Piggers. Just look for me and you're going to find me. Or just type in simply Greg the Animal and you're going to find me. You're going to find me right there. You got no problems. You ain't going to have any problems. Now I'm going to 
New York. So you see, I'm in New York now. And as I'm in New York, I have to talk like that for some of you <laughs> oh my God. Americans to understand what say? I'm saying. Oh, wow. So that is what it is. If you want to get me, just find me at Gregory the Animal, it's and you're going to have no problem getting to me. It's Thank been, you. It's been a blast. <laughs> it's been a blast. Let me I'm tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed you. Uh, him as much as I did. <laughs> and uh, check out his hand. <laughs> Check out the rhythm. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Ja is love, it's life, and it's all we need. God bless you guys. See you next week. Thank you. See you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Thank you so much I for having me. I hope you have me laughing. Like, you know my laugh is bad. I've got one of these bad laughs. So yeah, that's, I'm good. To... <laughs> that's good. He always says I have a crazy laugh. <laughs> that's good. Oh, man. Yeah. Woo! NYC TV.